All right, tennis player Caroline Wozniacki is being accused of a racist impersonation of Serena Williams by stuffing her bra and pants. This was during some kind of uh, exhibition type match. And I'm going to play the video for you. And I have to say that there's a number of different opinions about this as, well, as to whether it's racist or not. The, the racist implication is black women are stereotyped as having large breasts and large butts and that that's what's being ridiculed here. So let's play the video and take a look at what happens first. Okay. Okay. So before we go further, let me also just show you that Andy Roddick also did something very, very similar. How long ago was this in time? I think this was last year. Last year. So let's take a look at Andy Roddick doing basically the same thing. Taking towels, putting them in his shorts. Okay, deeper too. So, what do these two have in common? Well, they have in common that neither one is very funny. What do they have that are different? Well, the uh, backlash against this incident by uh, Caroline Wozniak has been pretty strong. Accusations of racism, uh, accusations that this is not harmless fun, and we've had a number of different opinions on this. Feministing.com wrote an article saying, given the history and current day context of racialized standards of beauty, the hypersexualization of people of color, when a white woman makes fun of a black woman's body, especially in a way that hypersexualizes her and draws on the stereotype of black women's big butts, it's racist. Okay. The counter argument has been, and one I thought of right away was, is it really of a black woman or is it specifically of Serena Williams because her sister, Venus Williams, is black and has a completely different body that wouldn't be impersonated in that way. So I, I just don't know how I feel about this. Uh, on one hand, Serena Williams herself is known for referring to her curvaceous figure. I mean, the day before she was in Brazil to promote the 2016 games, she tweeted, do they make Brazilian bikinis for, well, me? And in July, she tweeted a picture of her bottom with the words, Hmm, I think this onesie makes my, my butt look too big. So what's the, what's the deal here? Are we talking about racism? Are we talking about simply a joke that's not very funny and maybe in poor taste? How do we parse this out? Um, I think we're talking about racial paranoia here. You think so? So this, we're, on this show, we regularly accuse people of racism when we believe it to be there. But on this particular case, you just don't think that that's what it is. Not at all. Now, what about the argument, Natan, that even if the intention was not racist, it correlates with a stereotype of black, wo black women, and therefore it is racist in its undertones? Um, it's difficult to say for me. Uh, it seems to me like um, Serena Williams has a body that's um, not typical of any demographic group at all. So it seems to me like this is just a joke, and uh, I think racial paranoia slash political correctness is factoring in. I don't see any reason uh, to look at this any different than a joke about the way a person looks and moves and to apply any sort of racial connotation. It's an impersonation, all. plain and simple. Yep. Lewis, you agree? I agree. I, I have to say I'm hesitant to, to, and you know, I love pointing out when there is actual racism. I just don't think that this is really where the focus should be. Agreed. Let's take a break. Great interview coming up next. I'm going to deba debate an anti-gay Christian TV host who believes Obama's re-election has led us to a post-Christian America. What's that all about? Stay tuned. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.